we've said this before in our vlogs, but like why more people don't come up here to different places. But this one, I really don't understand. hit the trail. So we're hopping on the South Creststone Lake Trail. We're going up there for an overnight. This is our first backpacking trip in a while. Do you remember the yeah. last one? Ooh, last overnight in uh, Blue Lakes last year. So it's so been, it's a been while. 11 months. Yeah, so it's been a while since I've had a pack this heavy on my back, but it actually feels okay so far. See if I feel that way in an hour. But um, pretty amped. I'm also trying out some new boots, so plenty of opportunity to get sore. Whenever we go out for an actual overnight, I always get anxiety about what I've left, what critical piece of equipment I've left behind. You just you always are like, you know, you go in the first, three quarters of a mile, mile, just going through everything that you packed in that you might need. I've never forgotten something critical, knock on wood, but I guess we'll see. The reason why we're getting such a weird time start, kind of starting at sunset, is because uh, actually the gallery opened today. So when we closed, we headed down, down here from the springs to do this quick little backpacking trip. But it is, it's kind of fun to remember, like, even after a work day, you can start a little mountain trip. And um, going up, we're gonna hopefully shoot some Astro. That's the hope. Um, and then, we're gonna try to shoot sunrise in the morning. The weather looks pretty good. So I'm pretty excited, and like we said at the beginning, it's been like 11 months since we've gone on a backpacking trip, which is just kind of ridiculous at this point. So, Kemper's grabbing some quick sunset shots. South of us is getting a serious sunset show. It's not really directly over us. It's really beautiful out there, and, and I think that the, the Blanca group is kind of that direction, and they're uh, getting a show. All right, so I think it just finally got dark enough. Throw our headlamps on. Oh my gosh, it's on upside down. I'm gonna have to fix that. Anyway, <laughs> beautiful trail. Still a little bit of light in the sky, but um, it's getting dark enough now here in the trees. I'm not sure how far we've gone. Do you have any guesses? Um, we've gone two and a half miles. Yeah, we're a little under halfway on the on this profile here. You know, the trail's been. Um, Pretty fun, I'd say, overall. Beautiful, definitely somewhat challenging. Got my heart rate up right at the beginning there. Yeah. I'm, I'm not used to this heavy of a pack. I'm not sure how heavy it is, but probably like 40 pounds, 50 pounds? It's probably 40. Which is actually not that bad considering Yeah. I've brought probably more stuff than I needed, but anyway. I brought so much camera gear. So much camera gear. But that's the best stuff. Don't you think? It looks gorgeous, yeah. Look, you can see a spire right there of some kind. So, excited for the truck down. Indeed. It's kind of fun. Oh, wow. 
I just got a shooting star on camera. Oh, sweet. Epic. So we have uh, worked our way quite a bit up in, in elevation, probably. Yeah. We've gone up 2,223 feet. A little bit more than that because I started my watch late. Yeah, so it's a little bit more than uh, the last video we posted. I think we only did 800 the whole day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a beautiful view behind us that we can't really see. We can see the outline of it from the stars. We're excited to get to see tomorrow, so there'll be some, uh, some fun stuff to see on the way down. There will be. All right, so we just found this location. We're gonna set up our tent. The lake is that way, straight ahead. Um, kind of excited to get camp set up. And the stars are wonderful, so I think there's some decent chance for some sweet astro. For sure. It looks like it could be amazing. And then just, yeah, stick it in the hole. Alright, so we are, well, Kemper's heading out to shoot some Astro. Actually, he went on ahead. I don't know if you can see that little white light. That is Kemper's camera's LCD screen popping up. That is how dark it is out here. For those of you that care, my camera's currently maxed out to um, 32,000 at f1.4 at a 50th of a second. So this is basically as much light as I can get into my camera. All right, so I've been standing out here for a while now. Um, you can tell from the, the camera lens, you can just barely see me at all. Ooh, there's some wild stuff going on. Uh, he's doing some very long exposure shots, so I'm currently using the screen of my camera to light my face, which looks insane, because I do not want to get any light pollution in his shot. He just tried a 5 minute exposure, he's going to be trying a uh, 10 minute exposure next. Looks like he just said that he's starting that exposure right now, so I'm going to make sure I don't point any light that direction. Um, but I've been standing here for minutes. It's interesting, even the light from the um, screen has kind of destroyed my night vision. This location seems special, really special. Uh, kind of similar to Mitchell Lake, which was the last video we did. Didn't know this place existed. <laughs> like two weeks, like two days ago, never heard of it before. And I'm just kind of standing in awe. I'm, I'm amped for sunrise. Um, so I think we're going to do this 10 minute exposure and then um, after that we're going to probably go to bed. So Kemper just finished shooting up Astro. What do you think? I did. Well, I think it's going to turn out. I'm pretty optimistic considering that it's almost impossible to find an exact location here and there's a little mini cliff going down into the lake but I think it's going to be great. All right. So this is the foreground exposure. So you can see that's, that's certainly sharp enough for this kind of scenario. And then um, I exposed for the sky in that one. So it's going to be that sky with that foreground. It's going to be absolute money.
ended up coming to a slightly different spot than we shot last night. Um, this is really beautiful, we're right on the lake. sun came up and there is some really beautiful light behind us all the way across absolutely beautiful Kemper's trying to get the jet boil to work this morning so we can make coffee this may be one of the most stressful moments of the trip yeah it's just too cold the whole system <sighs> is going off to get some shots of some of the stuff the light's doing back behind me here. I'm staying here with our equipment and this incredible view. <laughs> Look at that. Wild. Aw oh, man. This is a really special place. Um, once again, similar to Mitchell Lake, um, I may be repeating myself to some degree, similar to Mitchell Lake. Um, this is a place, you know, we didn't know about, but this isn't a place I think very many people know about just in general. Um, this is, it's called South Crestone Lake. And it's interesting when you come to these kinds of areas, these kinds of untouched areas, I mean, just, you can tell that there's not been as many people around the lake. Um, the, the plants are healthier. Um, actually having to watch my step a lot to make sure I'm not stepping on little flowers or, or little ferns or breaking branches and stuff as much as possible. You know, you can just feel how kind of uncharted this area is. Well, it's probably charted, but how unexplored and by most people it is. It's always interesting to share a spot like this because, you know, it's, you know, you want to maintain this. You want to share it with the people that really are going to appreciate it, of course. Um, so, you know, as always, when you come up to these places, you got to have a lot of respect for um, leaving no trace, of course. Um, you know, and this is just such a fantastic spot. I have a terrible time thinking that, you know, not thinking that everyone should come up here, but then also being kind of defensive of it. Like, oh yeah, this place is just really special and feels really untouched. I mean, we have seen no one since probably a mile into the trail yesterday. Not a soul. What'd you think? It's great. I wish I had my whole kit. I'm shooting a bunch of multi-row panos, hoping that they turn out.
very nice. There's nothing quite like enjoying a cup of coffee, even if it is six month old um, Kuju coffee, which actually it tastes fine. Um, it was in a sealed package. I'm not that much of a heathen, but. Oh man, coffee's nice. Kemper's doing Alpine start. It's also not bad at all. I like the Alpine starts zero drama. Kuju is good, but you have a kind of a mess to deal with the whole rest of your trip. Alpine start, put it in your cup, you have the little package it came in, you're done. I don't know, I do like myself some fresh grounds. Cropping. You can actually see our tent. I don't know if you can really see it or not, but the tent's kind of right back over, back over there. Um, and this spot is really special. You get basically 360 degrees of mountains on all sides. Yeah. 360 mountains. That little, the valley that we came up from, Alamos is down there. Boy, I don't, you know, we've said this before in our vlogs, but like why more people don't come up here to different places. But this one, I really don't understand. I'm happy about it. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's nice to know there are places like this in Colorado still that like, and you know, the trail wasn't easy. It wasn't a piece of cake. And you know, this isn't like ideal camping, you know, like the spot we found last night wasn't big and this is another spot right here and it's not very big. I, I guess I understand, but like, it's just, it's really some of the most just kind of jaw dropping scenery that I've seen in a long time. Just, you know, completely new, you know? Yeah. We're really close to some areas we've traveled. Or well, and we've that's what I was going to say. It's also very familiar because it's very Sangre de Cristo, you know, the, the way the rock is, um, the texture of the rock, and then it's this crestone conglomerate. You can kind of show these. It's almost like it's like man-made like cement blocks with with little rocks in it, and it's called crestone conglomerate, and it's from this area. But it just has a very um, classic look to it, you know, that you just don't see. And uh, the quality of light this morning is nice. There's no clouds, but um, I wouldn't say the sunlight's overly harsh for some reason. Um, you know, you always want to get color, but sometimes it's just about the place, you know? Sometimes you're at a cool place and, you know, the, if the light's nice, you're going to get good shots. Uh, this remind, That reminds me of Broken Hand Peak right there. Yeah, you know, it does. Which is, that's probably five miles that way is part of the crest stone. Well, I guess this is all technically the crest stones, but uh, really, really, really pretty morning. And really, really pretty place. You could hike in for sunrise. It'd be brutal. You'd have to travel light and fast. It's always a really special thing to wake up and hike 20 yards and 
That's... I mean, it, it, I don't know if it makes the 50 pound pack worth it. I mean... I think it does. I don't know. <laughs> like the coffee and the warm sleeping bag yeah. and... You have to motivate yourself though. Like even last night after we ate, like I knew that I, the, the conditions were perfect for Astro. And I just, I really had to get my button gear and get out the tent door to to do it. it but I, you could have talked me out of it just, you know, by, you know, blowing on me. All right, so this was home for the night. Here it is now. It's kind of incredible how different it feels and kind of looks now that you have the perspective of all the detail around it. Really a shockingly beautiful camping spot. All right, so we got the tent up, uh, finishing up packing our bags and are about ready to head down. Excited to see some of the views. Um, we're gonna get to be looking at uh, these mountains behind me here and also the shoulder on this boy. So that's gonna be really fun to, to see different perspectives. Maybe get ideas for future trips. Who knows, maybe even some sweet shots. Um, the light's definitely getting more flat though as we progress, so we'll have to see. We are getting very close to the car, so I think that'll do it for this vlog. Got a lot of great shots, got a lot of amazing views. It uh, exceeded expectations in basically every way. So this is a this is a really special spot. Um, if you're really willing to work for it a little bit, willing to go to a part of Colorado that not very many people know about. Um, this is definitely a worthwhile place to hit up. So, thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, uh, give it a like. If you loved it, give us a sub um, to see stuff more like more stuff like this in the future. Huh? We ran across some mountain goats. Kemper's trying to get a photo of them right now. Um, you can uh, see them.